Okay, uh, welcome to this video. Um, in this video, I want to show you how to do a canned response in Gmail. So if you don't have a Gmail account, you want to go to Google, and right near the top, they have a Gmail link. So it's very easy to go to Gmail. You can also go to gmail.com. I will log into one of my many Gmail accounts, and the reason I'm doing this is because I've not set up a canned response yet. Let me show you what a canned response is. It is not your signature, okay? You can do a signature that appears on at the bottom of every email, which is really nice. So let me discard that. Again, a signature is something that is automatically inserted at the end of your email. That is not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is a way to have a canned response. And as you can see, I don't have the menu item right here under the subject line. So I've not turned it on. Let me show you how to turn it on. The way you turn on the canned response is going under settings and then going right to, well, to the gear and then clicking on settings right here. And um, you'll want to find labs, L-A-B-S, labs. Okay, it's at the top menu of your settings. Click on labs. And you will see that there's a bunch of little components that uh, Google Labs has done, and here it is. Here's the one. Um, so alphabetically, it's going to be near the top, canned responses. Okay? You'll see that I can enable that by clicking that radio button. Then I need to go down to the bottom and click Save Changes. Okay? Now, that won't really affect any of your email. The only thing it will affect is when you compose. You will now see you have canned responses. Remember, before I didn't have that. So again, go under the gear, go to settings, and turn on labs, canned responses. Okay? Now, what can you do with that? Well, let's say you have an email that you send over and over. So um, you can say, hi, blah, 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 da, 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 da. Okay, I'm not going to type. Uh, anymore, but you could get the point. It can be a long email. It can also include graphics and things like that. What you would do then is if this is an email you want to send over and over and over again, you can create a canned response. It's a response, canned meaning it's kind of saved. Okay, now you would save it as a new canned response. I will just save this one even though it doesn't make sense. I'll just show it to you. So under canned response, we're going to choose new canned response. And it'll ask you for a name. And I'll just give it a name test. Okay. Then click OK. You can discard this email. And you can go back to compose. And let's say you have to send that email to someone. You can just choose insert test. And it'll type in that email for you. And again, you still have your signature at the bottom. So a point though, when you do your canned response, delete the signature, otherwise you'll put your signature in twice. So uh, what I would do if you if you have a certain email, just type it out without your signature. Okay, then I'm going to discard this one. When you create a new one, your signature appears first and then you add the uh, canned response. See how, see how that w works? Then you just uh, address it, give it a subject line, and send it. It's really quick and easy. So let me give you an example. Okay. So I sent myself another canned response from another account. Let's click that. And you'll see that this is graphics. And this relates to the My Partner in Profit system that I teach and I do webinar training for. I send this out to a lot of people. And it kind of gets... You know, I don't want to type it out. Plus, I really like the graphics. I mean, is that sweet or what? Okay. So, if you have something that you want to send over and over again, you can even copy the email. So, let me show you. Now, I would not want to copy the signature. I'm going to start with the content, and I'll go all the way to the top. Okay. Oh, I'm having an issue there. Let me try it again. Oops, didn't want to do that. So this, these are live links, but I want to copy. Let me scroll up. Okay. 
See how this is highlighted right now? And in fact, everything is highlighted. The, the image and all the text. And what I can do is just right click and choose copy. And it'll copy it all. Okay. So now if I want to do a canned response, I can just go back to compose. Okay. And I have a blank. Um, well, I should have a blank and I'll just delete all that. Okay. A blank email. And then I can go ahead and do paste. And notice it's pasted in all that great graphics. Okay. And it's put in the text and the links. Everything's ready. Okay. I don't have to type that in. It looks fantastic. Now, my last step is to go under save and choose new canned response. Okay. It'll allow you to type in a name and I'll just call my PIP webinar training. This is something I send out quite a bit. So something that's repetitive would be perfect. It's just saved it. Okay. So I can actually discard this and let's pretend I have to send out a message. So I'll choose compose. Okay. There's my signature. And now under canned responses, I just choose my PIP webinar training. Voila. There it is. Instantly done. Ready to go with my signature. I just simply address it, put in the subject line, and click send. That is pretty cool. So I really loved can responses. And uh, in some of my accounts, I have like 30 of these. So, and if you want to delete, notice you can delete them. Okay, you can delete test. It'll say, are you sure? And you can click OK. Then you, if you want to change it, uh, remember, you would probably want to delete the signature. Okay. And it, let's say if you wanted to type join the free webinar down here. So I've added the word free. And then you want to save it. Just go to canned response and then click save and choose my PIP webinar training. And it'll resave over that. Okay. And it'll ask you, are you sure? Click OK. Discard it. Create a new compose window, email, go to insert, and you'll see at the bottom it has the word free. Okay, so you can modify this anytime you want. It's really easy. Make sure if you have a signature, you take it out. Otherwise, it'll duplicate your signature twice. Okay, so hopefully you got it. If you have any questions, uh, get with me or talk to the person that sent you this video. It's really easy to add canned responses, and you can have as many of these as you want in all your Gmail accounts. So, there you go. Hope you enjoy. Take care.